I don't have any nails on right now as well. I feel, I feel less of a bad bitch. Yeah, let's spend too much time whining. Welcome back to my channel if you're new. Hi, I'm Kimberly Arita. So in this video, I'm going to be reviewing this wig that was kindly sent to me by Eunice or Eunice Hair. Um, this is, I'll put the details for this wig on the screen because I'm not going to confuse myself trying to remember the exact name. <laughs> but I'm going to basically show you guys how I styled and applied this wig onto my head. You guys can see all the free goodies I got and um, basically how the hair came and everything. So I'm going to go straight into bleaching the knots. I don't feel like explaining everything because I feel like I've explained this so many times to a point where you guys probably know the routine by now and you're watching it anyway. But yeah, just basically um, bleach your knots on the wig. That's the first step I always do. And I also um, made sure that I got the baby hairs at the front because I always have this issue when I bleach it. I always leave like the baby hairs at the front, like the little strands with the little knots at the front. So I'm just making sure I'm like getting that. But make sure that you're not pushing too hard because it's going to fully like go through the lace and then bleach more than the knots if that makes sense or bleach the actual hair itself just make sure you're being very careful because i know like i'm it looks like i'm being reckless but i'm, I'm not i'm actually really taking my time and um, then after i did that i just went straight ahead into plucking the closure no wait what am i saying i went to plucking like the baby hairs and all that but because it comes pre-plucked you actually don't have to do this step i'm literally just being extra as i always am and um, especially because i want that flat um air like flat brushed back look when I when I basically lay it down on my head that's the reason why but you can honestly leave it how it comes because it actually comes pretty natural looking and if I forgot to mention as well and um, I think there's three combs in total and adjustable um, strap at the band and it does come with a free goodie of adjustable strap and um, if I do need if you basically need to sew one in because it's not going be tight enough or secure enough as you want it so that's really good um, but yeah, like I said, I'm just plucking, plucking, plucking. Um, you don't have to do all of this because it does come really natural to a point where you don't have to do this, honestly. Um, and the hair plucked out very, very nice and easy. And after I did that, I went straight into basically um, styling the hair. It's in the middle part, that's how I wanted it to be. Um, I could have changed it into a side part, but I wanted it in the middle part. But I'm using my olive oil um, heat protection serum I think it's called and I just rubbed it on the top of the hair and mainly the areas that got wet and then I just rub my straight rub <laughs> oops then I just run my straightness over all the sections that need to be straightened back out and it was so quick because I didn't wet up the whole of the hair and I only had a little bit to go over and it took very 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 well to the heat I didn't have to go for it go over it as much as I did but just to make sure and because I'm once again I'm really extra I went over it a couple times um, that's all I did and then I literally took it off my mannequin head and I put my foundation my leftover foundation and my foundation brush onto the lace so that when I put it on my head it's going to blend nice and natural and it just helps give it a way way more natural look because the lace actually comes a pretty good colour. But you guys can see once I pop it onto my head look at how fantastic like and natural that looks why am i saying fantastic i don't know but yeah like look at how natural it looks so i lost my razor is broken and i had the bit the broken razor but i lost it so i'm just using my scissors to basically cut the lace off but i'm doing it in a jaggedy kind of line it's not a straight line because it doesn't look natural if you do the line just straight going around the head so just take your time and do it like kind of jaggedy So once I've cut off the lace, I've spread my got to be um, section by section. I don't just spray it around the whole of my forehead. I'm going to be doing it section by section. I'm um, spraying and sticking down the section. And then I'll be using my comb to stick the sides down. I'm trying my best not to use my fingers. Because um, somebody asked me how I got the white lines or the white residue away from my hairline. And that's by not 
using your skin <laughs> skin to skin contact basically um, because it that's what literally gives you the residue so just use your comb or anything else to basically stick or push the glue into the lace or the gel into the lace um, and yeah that's basically what I did to stick down my actual wig so once I had basically done that I just went into just combing the hair out it was literally that simple like I can't believe how quickly I managed to do this like this wig was that easy to work with that everything was so quick but yeah that's all I did and this is my finished look okay guys so this is my finished look I actually really love this so initially this is a look that I was trying to go for when I was trying to um dye the hair one time but I, it didn't come out this way because I, I didn't do it right but if you guys can see this looks absolutely incredible the hair is so soft and nice and on top of that I actually think the hair at the back is actually jet black I could be completely wrong don't quote me but to me it looks um jet black so I am rocking this hair that was kindly sent to me by you nice or Eunice hair this is a 13 by 4 highlight lace front wig um I've got this Brazilian hair and yeah so I got the length 24 inches and I got the density 180% and the colour is just obviously ombre. So this look is so in, like I see everybody doing this and that's the reason why I tried to do it. And I feel like the parting that I have goes quite far back so it could possibly be a 4, no it could possibly be a 6 inch but I'm honestly not sure because I didn't choose any of that if that makes sense and I didn't see that in the options as well for the let me check I didn't yeah I didn't I don't see that in the options as well but um from the description of the title from the title it says 13 by 4 so let's just go with that but the part in is really as you guys can see it goes really nice and far back so it gives you a really natural look but yeah this hair I absolutely do love it and on top of that the hair is so soft and so flowy, if you guys can see. And like I said, I feel like this is jet black hair, but I could be wrong. So all I did to this wig was I plucked, no, I bleached the knots, and I did go ahead and pluck the hairline. The hairline came nice and pre-plucked, so I actually didn't have to, I didn't have to do a lot of plucking. And if I forgot to mention as well, the wig itself only comes to 107 pounds and 72 pence so that is really affordable really really affordable so um i'm in love with this hair it's something different um it's something unique okay it's not unique because everybody's doing it if you want color but not too much color i keep touching the hair but that's because it feels so nice and soft but you want color but you don't want you know too much color this is a look as i was saying so I bleached the knots, um, it took well to, yeah, it took really, really well to the bleach and then I did wash it out and I only, once again, I just do the top bit as much as I can and then the rest of the hair is still nice because I just hate straightening hair. I don't want to spend my time trying to re-straighten the hair out completely so I try to stick to wet in the top only. But it took well to be straightened out because as you guys can see, it's nice and soft and sleek at the top again so that is really good. Um, also, I did pluck the hairline. The hairline does come pre-plucked. Like, you honestly don't have to worry about plucking the hairline but me being extra and like I always like my um, own touch on my wigs so you know I do I did pluck it um, I do sometimes try my best to I do sometimes try not to pluck the hairline just so that you guys can see if you guys got the wig if you could just put it on and go so um, I think my next one I'll try to just not pluck the hairline just to see if you know you can put it on and go but um other than that like this wig is beautiful like it feels amazing like I'm actually in love with this wig like what girl what this wig is so cute for me personally the size of the wig came like literally perfect it's very very comfortable on my head it definitely has stretch to it though so if you have a bigger head I would say I have a normal a small to a normal like average size head size so definitely if you're a large or a medium definitely this is, a, this is a good fit that it comes because it does have a lot of stretch to it i can definitely tell um i haven't used any of the adjustable straps at the back just because i forgot because of how well the, the wig fits me anyway like it is 
a-okay like honestly just a-okay but yeah i absolutely love this wig so so much do you guys like my tattoo by the way i got my dad's um name i know you guys saw it in the clip already but i just want to show you again i got my dad's name and um, it was his birthday yesterday but yeah i did get 180 because i as i've stated before as I've stated before, I absolutely hate 150 densities wigs because I just feel like they're too thin. Um, so this is 180 and I absolutely love how it feels. The hair is definitely nice and full and that's the look that I love and that's the feel that I love. I like to feel that there's a lot of hair on the wig. Um, so yeah, if there's anything you guys need or want to know about this wig, just please let me know. Leave me a comment down below because yeah, I feel like I've said everything that needs to be said about this hair and I haven't experienced a lot of shedding you know the basic stuff um but yeah that's it for this video guys if you guys do like this video please don't forget to give me a ugh. if you guys do like this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also if you like this hair I mean don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you want to see more from me subscribe to my channel because I have new videos on the way and like I said this hair was kindly sent to me by you nice or Eunice hair and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one bye guys Cause are you alone, 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 alone. Are you get the goal, 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 goal.